So, now that you've seen a bit of what pchrome can do, you're probably wondering, how's it done? First, make sure your compressed air supply is clean, filtered, and dry. Use only pure distilled water, and work in a well-vented spray booth. You'll find everything else you need to use pchrome at www.pchrome.com. Now we're ready to start. Achieving a shimmering pchrome finish involves a three-step process. First step, prepare the base coat of Permalac 2K. Care must be taken to be as accurate as possible in the mixing of the formula. Two parts of 2KA, two parts of 2KB, Remember, the pot life is limited, so mix only what you're going to use within an hour. Once mixed, we're ready to spray the base coat. Film thickness is critical, so make sure the spray from the gun is even, steady, and consistent. When satisfied you have the proper coverage, be sure to immediately clean the spray gun with Peacock number 281 thinner. If the 2K is allowed to dry, it could permanently ruin the spray gun. Allow the base coat to cure. This will take from 2 to 12 hours depending on conditions. Once the base is cured, you're ready for the next step. First, spritz liberally with number 77 degreaser solution and then rinse with deionized water. Now you're ready for the sensitizer. To mix the sensitizer, simply add one ounce of P-Chrome D to one half gallon of deionized water. Spray the sensitizer, then rinse with deionized water to check the sensitizer's coverage. If water beads on the surface, respray with the sensitizer until the rinse water sheets on the surface instead of beading. To assure surface bonding, the P-Chrome Bright Shine coat which goes on next must be sprayed while the substrate surface is still wet. Therefore, the two mixes which combine to make up the P-Chrome Bright Shine coat must be prepared in advance. The formulas are simple. Just mix one ounce of P-Chrome S with one half gallon of deionized water. And then mix three quarters an ounce P-Chrome R with one half gallon of deionized water. Please note, best results can only be obtained by using the proprietary P-Chrome dual spray gun available from www.pchrome.com. The gun enables individual adjustments of the two sides so the perfect mix of coatings can take place at the surface at about 6 inches from the gun. This results in an excellent finish regardless of the substrate. Spray the P-Chrome bright shine layer from bottom to top, moving in horizontal planes. Continue to overlay coated surfaces with repeat sprayings until the level of color and reflective shine is satisfactory. Rinse the completed bright shine coat with deionized water and clean the two barrel spray gun with deionized water. Make sure all surfaces are completely dry before proceeding. All that remains now is adding a top coat of Permalac 2K to protect the P-Chrome bright shine layer. Mix the Permalac 2K as in step 1. Many users have found that adding a small amount of the purple tint to the final mix gives the finish appearance a more chrome-like look. If you have questions, be sure to follow the mix instructions found at www.pchrome.com. Now, this is a point of departure for those who can't be satisfied with the straightforward, high gleam, mirror-like finish of plain pchrome. This is where you get to let your imagination run riot. Create a color explosion in any shade you like. We offer the dyes, you provide the inspiration. See the light.